The McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing F-15 Eagle, is an American twin-engine, all-weather tactical fighter designed to gain and maintain air supremacy in aerial combat. It is one of the most successful modern fighter aircraft, with over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat. The US Air Force selected McDonnell Douglas's design in 1967 to meet the need for a dedicated air superiority fighter. The Eagle first flew in July 1972 and entered service in 1976. The Eagle has since been exported to Israel, Japan and Saudi Arabia, among other nations. The F-15 Eagle is expected to be in service with the US Air Force past 2040. Newer models are still being produced for foreign users. F-15E Strike Eagles can be distinguished from other US Eagle variants by darker aircraft camouflage and conformal fuel tanks mounted along the engine intake ramps, although CFTs can also be mounted on earlier F-15 variants. To extend its range, the F-15E is fitted with two conformal fuel tanks, CFTs, that hug the fuselage. These produce lower drag than conventional underwing, underbelly drop tanks. They carry 2,800 litres of fuel and house six weapons hardpoints in two rows of three in tandem. Unlike conventional drop tanks, CFTs cannot be jettisoned, thus the increased range is offset by the degraded performance from the increased drag and weight compared to a clean configuration. Similar tanks can be mounted on other F-15 variants, however the F-15E variant is routinely fitted with CFTs. The Strike Eagle has been deployed for military operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria and Libya, among others. During these operations, the F-15E has carried out deep strikes against high-value targets, combat air patrols and provided close air support for coalition troops. F-15 Eagle had been introduced by the US Air Force as a replacement for its fleet of F-4 Phantom IIs. The US Air Force procured 420 F-15E Strike Eagle aircraft. The total US Air Force inventory of F-15 Eagles stands at approximately 1,119 aircraft. The F-15E's deep strike mission is a radical departure from the original intent of the F-15, since the F-15 was designed as an air superiority fighter. The basic airframe, however, proved versatile enough to produce a very capable strike fighter. The F-15E, while designed for ground attack, retains the air-to-air -air lethality of the F-15 and can defend itself against enemy aircraft. The low-altitude navigation and targeting infrared for night system is mounted externally under the engine intakes. It allows the aircraft to fly at low altitudes at night and in any weather conditions to attack ground targets with a variety of precision-guided and unguided weapons. The Lantern system gives the F-15E exceptional accuracy in weapons delivery day or night and in poor weather. At night, the video picture from the lantern can be projected on the HUD, producing an infrared image of the ground. The targeting pod contains a laser designator and a tracking system that mark an enemy for destruction as far away as 16 kilometers. Once tracking has been started, targeting information is automatically handed off to infrared homing air-to-surface missiles or laser-guided bombs. Configurations may be either the lightning target pod or the sniper advanced targeting pod. The F-15E carries most air-to-ground weapons in the US Air Force inventory. It is also armed with AIM-9 Sidewinders and AIM-120 AMRAMs. Since the Strike Eagle retains the counter-air capabilities from its Eagle lineage, it is regularly trained for counter-air missions and fully capable for offensive counter-air. Like the F-15C, the Strike Eagle also carries an internally mounted General Electric M61A1 20mm cannon with 500 rounds, which is effective against enemy aircraft and soft ground targets. The navigation pod contains a terrain-following radar, which allows the pilot to safely fly at very low altitude following cues displayed on a head-up display. 
This system also can be coupled to the aircraft's autopilot to provide hands-off terrain-following capability. Additionally, the pod contains a forward-looking infrared system, which is projected on the pilot's HUD, which is used during nighttime or low-visibility operations. The engines used for the first batches of F-15E Strike Eagle and its variants are Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW220. Later batches feature the more powerful F-100 PW229 engines. Arguably, the fastest fighter jet computer in the world is in a US Air Force F-15E. It's the Advanced Display Core Processor 2, capable of processing 87 billion instructions per second of computing throughput, translating into faster and more reliable mission processing capability for aircrew. The F-15E, with its new computer, made its first flight July 8, 2018, launching a new era of tactical fighter mission computing. The increased processing is critical to new advanced capabilities such as Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System plus Long Range Infrared Search and Track Capability, or IRST, High Speed Radar Communications and future software suite upgrades. This capability allows pilots to prosecute targets with ironclad precision and sets the foundation for future growth. These updated electronic warfare capabilities replaced the tactical electronic warfare suite, which has been used since the 1980s, not long after the F-15 first deployed. The service plans to operate the fleet until the mid-2040s, so an overhaul of the Eagle's electronic systems helps maintain US air supremacy. The multi-pronged effort not only includes the current edition of electronic warfare technology, but also extends to super-fast high-speed computers, infrared search and track enemy targeting systems, increased networking ability and upgraded weapons firing capability. The technology can detect the heat signature, often called infrared emissions, of enemy aircraft. The system can simultaneously track multiple targets and provide a highly effective air-to-air -air targeting capability even when encountering advanced threats equipped with radar jamming technology. IRST also provides an alternate air-to-air -air targeting system in a high-threat electronic attack environment. For this reason, the F-15 will also be increasing battle network management to better support existing fifth-generation platforms such as the F-22 and F-35. The intent of these F-15 upgrades is to effectively perform the missions assigned to the F-15 fleet, which are to support the F-22 in providing air superiority and the F-35 in providing precision attack capabilities. The Multifunctional Information Distribution System, or MIDS Fighter Data Link Terminal, improves situational awareness and communications capabilities via the Link 16 data link. MIDS is an advanced command, control, communications, computing and intelligence system incorporating high-capacity, jam-resistant digital communication links for exchange of near-real-time tactical information, including both data and voice among air, ground and sea elements. MIDS is intended to support key theatre functions such as surveillance, identification, air control, weapons engagement coordination and direction for all services. While these upgrades will not make these aircraft fifth-generation fighters, they will allow the F-15 to support fifth-generation fighters in performing their missions and will also allow F-15s to assume missions in more permissive environments where capabilities of fifth-generation fighters are not required. The F-15 is also being engineered for additional speed and range along with weapons firing ability. The weapons carrying ability is being increased from 8 up to 16 weapons. This includes an ability to fire an AIM-9X or AIM-120 missile. In addition, upgrades to the aircraft include adding an increased ability to integrate or accommodate new emerging weapon systems as they become available. This is being done through both hardware and software-oriented open standards IP protocol and architecture. The aircraft is also getting a fly-by-wire automated flight control system. 
fly-by-wire means the pilot provides the input straight to a computer that then determines how to have the aircraft perform the way it wants and provides electrical signals quicker to safely move from point to point as opposed to using a mechanical control stick. Along with these weapons upgrades and other modifications, the F-15 is also getting upgrades to the pilot's digital helmet and some radar signature reducing stealthy characteristics. However, at the same time, the F-15 is not a stealthy aircraft and is expected to be used in combat environments in what is called less contested environments, where the Air Force already has a margin of air superiority over advanced enemy air defences. Adding more teeth is the Stormbreaker bomb that has entered operational testing phase, bringing it a step closer to provide US Air Force pilots the capability to strike maneuvering targets in adverse weather. Stormbreaker, formerly called the Small Diameter Bomb 2, enters the phase after completing a successful operational test readiness review in spring 2018. The bomb will be fielded first on the F-15E Strike Eagle and is planned to be integrated onto the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter by 2022. The Stormbreaker Tri-Mode Seeker uses imaging infrared, millimeter wave and semi-active laser, giving pilots the ability to destroy moving targets on the battlefield in adverse weather conditions from standoff ranges. The weapon is capable of flying more than 45 miles to strike mobile targets, reducing the amount of time that air crews spend flying dangerous missions. Its small size enables the use of fewer aircraft to take out the same number of targets as previous larger weapons that required multiple aircraft. The F-15 has been a long-proven air superiority fighter with an impeccable kill versus loss record. With production set to end in 2022, 50 years after its first flight, the F-15's advanced upgrades will allow it to continue to defy its age. But with no other fighter matching its superiority in record, Big Bird will go down as one of the greatest ever.